spur of the moment improvisation as you do right. with real time conversation. Right. Let's do this properly. This is two brains, one bottle, inaugural episode. Welcome. Hello. So I hope you're well. I'm doing better today than I was yesterday. I hope you're doing the same. That is all I can hope for you. If you're not, get there quick because it's better on the other side. So let me ask you something. What's your problem with Jehovah's Witnesses? God damn Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, I just can't take their holier than thou attitudes. I wish they weren't so white supremacy in kind of a way. Oh, if oh, you're, it's, if it's, you're still it's, listening, you know, thanks. most religions <laughs> should be on domestic terrorism watch lists. That's my hot take for the week. That feels good to get out. That comes from a deep, dark, but real, real place. I hope you are doing better than I am, but goddamn, do I feel good tonight. Oh, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be live. It feels good to improvise. There you go. It feels good to be alive. I'll tell and, you what. And we hope that you, if you're still listening, first of all, thank you for uh, for for hanging in there. Subscribing. Yes, thank you for subscribing. So, you you did something. You did something right. that takes more than the typical effort. So because this is taking more than typical effort. This is go. reaching deep into your soul and trying to. Bear it. Bear it to other people. Bear it to each other. Oh. Right? Remain real. Hey, can How I just you say... Buddy? How are you, my friend? I am unbelievable. And can I just say... <sighs> thank you for being a friend. <sighs> <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. How's that for a segue? Ten years. You never, you never would have known she looked so young. Picture this. Sicily. No, no, no. Picture this. Hollywood. <laughs> 1985. Fuck! 19... <laughs> To 1995? Ten years? For those That's who, all. For those of you that might be confused because wow. this is audio, we are we're 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 toasting Estelle Getty, who is it turns out the whole time in on Golden Girls, when she was portraying in her eighties, what man, was that, supposed to be that was makeup. What was supposed to be character wise. 85 to 95, the first episode recorded, having been 87, though. So, a nice little kind of Marvel thing. But... Like the MCU before the MCU. But the actress, it, was the, it was the GCU, the Golden... Yeah. Or uh, the GGU, Golden Girls Universe. Right. Yeah, but, but the character Sophia Petrillo was supposed to be in her 80s, and the actress Estelle Getty was actually in her 30s, and all that was just makeup and good acting. Here's to you. Not just good acting. The, I mean, you say it. You say it in mockery. No, I'm not. Picture it. I, Sicily. I, I am not and saying it, it in mockery. Her, it leaves her lips and you go, I fucking do believe you. <laughs> like, I buy into it. Oh, you I, go, no, I totally bought it. They fooled me. But you're me. watching totally. the show. The show's filmed in 85 and you go, what was the show filmed in? Like, this was Cheers. Right? This was early. It was MASH. This was like... Yeah. No. Like, MTV was, what, three years out? Video killed the radio star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, you're right. Yeah, buddy. I'm really surprised we didn't see Golden Girls in more videos. <laughs> more music videos. I mean, they would have been Golden Girl music videos. All right, so. Uh, oh, that, that would have been. That's a market uh, now. Oh, shit. Hashtag right. Golden Girl music videos. You heard it here, folks. Get on first that. time. Um, so. This is two oh, brains. unfortunately, you heard it here first time. So this is two brains, one bottle, and the bottle we're drinking tonight is Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. We enjoy this so far, but um, we're not. This this isn't going to be like a proper whiskey review of it. We'll, we'll get into some notes probably because that's what we are. That's what we do. I mean, we're all notes in the symphony of life. Oh Jesus! No, you know <laughs> what? Fuck you, man. This is wah, wah, oh, wah, no. Wah, wah, Fuck wah. that. I get to be. Oh, I get to let loose now. That's right. That welcome, patrons. Aren't you glad? You oh, this? you guys are going to get some esoteric and ethereal Ooh. bullshit. This is all the stuff we can't say on the YouTube. This is the stuff I can't write songs about because nobody's going to buy into it. This is the stuff I have to this cut out when I do This is the stuff I have to like fucking struggle with. <laughs> oh, this is it. This is a whole like, you don't have to edit this episode. Just no edit. There's a tagline. Start. No editing required. Have, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Two brains, one bottle. Hashtag. Figuring life out one drink at a time. 
Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> He's furiously writing. So, while he carves symbols into dead tree scrapings, <laughs> Jesus, I feel like a boomer. I'm typing in caps like I'm writing in, I'm writing in all caps. What the hell's happening to me? Do you want to listen? Do you want to watch a, D, a CD? Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. You know what? I'm missing my Laserdisc player. I should throw in Robocop. Hey, hey, hey don't mock Laserdisc. Laserdisc was awesome. I'm not mocking. I, I, okay. I, I, I thought, I watched I, Robocop hold on, on we're, talking to, we're talking to the people. The people. The people. The people. You know what? If you're gonna talk to the people, you gotta be relaxed like the people. What about their elbow? Do you need to talk to the people's elbow? Yeah! For the millions in attendance and the tens listening around the internet. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's the introduction to the rock of course introduction. I know this, I'm a wrestling fan. Yes. By the way, sorry, you're gonna get some wrestling knowledge. I it's too much. Don't there's you, too there's don't so you many apologize. fucking references. There's hey, so many hey, don't horror you. movies, horror movies, pro wrestling, uh, poetry. We'll get into some Byron, movies. Keith, maybe, Shelley. Maybe we can explore all some of anime. There. Uh, oh god, I would love to dive into anime and just jump into or that world books. because I'm in a safe place here. Yes, you, you are. know what? And that's the important thing is to remember that you're always in a safe place here that's right and you know what that's our the comment section here is a safe place too it will be moderated it people will be blocked if they're being jerky faces and um hold on the world is hard enough no hold on i don't i don't what what i don't like censorship i don't like censorship i feel either. i feel freedom in saying all the words that give you release so if you have to use Okay. That four asterisk word, use it here because you know okay. what? You know you what? don't. I take if it back. You, if you use it, right. if you verbalize it, you don't externalize it. If you get it out through your mouth, you don't put it out into the world. But no hate speech. No, no hate speech. No hating on anybody. And this is about acceptance. This is about yep. choosing to be open, to be vulnerable, to be open to criticism, to be open to talking and discussion this is about a rational revolution this is right. this is this is in this is being open to all discussion forms this is about twizzlers and buttholes no this is about red vines and twizzlers this is about that and fruit leather and you know what they're all valid forms of candy well the they're about all leather, valid the they about all have their places for people who have those tastes the thing about fruit but leather is fruit don't overindulge fruit Keep leather them feels better when you slap somebody with it Wow, okay. <laughs> I was trying to keep it PG there. All right, you see the ebb and flow here? You how start it with the words goddamn it, to hope how, it, new how it shifts, PG? though, the balance, the, 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 the ebb and flow to conversation. So, it's got to have that little bit of elasticity. Right. Perhaps it's got should, to. Perhaps it's we got should to. tell these people, for some reason, I don't know why they wouldn't know who we are, but at least, you know, in, in some sense okay. or matter, if they're, if they're listening to this podcast. Okay. But, uh... I'm Joshua Courtright, and I started the Room 6 YouTube channel, and Sean Flume is... I'm Sean Flume. I'm Sean Flam Drummer. I'm working on myself. I've, I've made a lot of good changes for myself recently, and I'm just trying to embrace writing the high and the positive light and staying true to what doesn't hurt people and what doesn't hurt you can benefit you. Agreed. Granted, every day of life is a struggle. It can be a struggle, but what's on the other side is better. What I was going for was, why are you here? Like, how are how do we know each other? Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought, mean, I'm glad you're working. On oh yourself, no, I thought buddy. you were going. You're like, why are we here? I'm like, oh, okay. I thought we were diving really right knows. into the well, deep stuff. I'm like, all right, let's to, jump to in. To quote Yakko Warner, nobody really knows why we're here, but Nietzsche put forth an interesting theory. Oh, I love Nietzsche. I love Animaniacs. I love Animaniacs too. Anyway, na, na, anyway na, na, na. Uh, so Sean and I are both uh, musicians among here other in Las things. Vegas. Las Vegas musicians, but musicians and etherealists and just believers in the humankind and We've been that all bands. humans are good people and that we, we work together well. Yeah. And that's what we're here to do is to promote working together well. Right. But a little bit more factual history I was going Jesus, for sorry. was sorry, um, oh, Sean and, okay, it's a good so, thing there's no editing here. yeah right so Sean and I 
are uh, what? see stop letting these steamroll conversation take over shut up they, so sean and i are have been in two bands together um one was an indie rock band called the suspense and the other one is it was dirty martinis which never quite took off before quarantine kicked in was there three what was the third one your original Joshua Corbett. Well, that was the suspense. No, no, that was a separate bill. I somebody else paid me. It was a different moniker. You, you I got right. billed under I something else that, that happened night. that one time. And I got billed under something else that night. You're right. There okay, were three. So what happened was, uh, there was one gig where it was the Joshua <laughs> Corbett, or it was Joshua Corbett, and a band, and and yes, he was there because I knew I could count him. So Sean is many things, not least of which is. An amazing drummer and drum teacher, as well as guitar and piano. And if you live in the Las Vegas area, you and you want to learn music, he's he's your guy. Uh, do you, you do remote learning? Is that a thing? That is my goal for this year. Cool. If you live somewhere, I will learn how to teach you from where I'm at. This is all just a learning process. This is all a learning curve for all of us. Yep. Because so, yeah. I, I know what to do. It's just refining and always trying to get that focus in clearer. Yes, I can do remote learning. I can do in-person lessons. I can do distance learning, socially distance learning, whatever it requires. Yes. What's your website? Oh, goodness. SeanFlamDrummer.com. SeanFlamDrummer.com. There you go. I don't go. ever use it. It's in the no it'll be in the description. Um, My goodness. In the show notes. But I just wanted to give you a little history so that you know why why we know each other, but also how we got to the point where we're reviewing whiskeys together. I'm sorry. I'm much better at conversation than I am at social media, and I hope this proves that point. Yeah. But uh, we got to the whiskey reviewing because Sean, he's made a study of whiskeys for a while now, and he introduced me to the Whiskey Tribe with uh, Daniel and Rex, which if you haven't checked them out, go to YouTube, type in Whiskey Tribe or Whiskey Vault, watch and be amused and, and, and educated. But... Uh, I, I was, uh, there's a more important footnote to why we, you are here with me right now having this conversation is that Sean is helped me break in and kind of create the idea of my YouTube channel room six. He was my very first interview, you know, and I feel at some point, yes, we should revisit that. Not only should we revisit that and we will do a reaction video to it. Oh my God. There you go. Well, that's what shows growth is being able to laugh well, at yourself and acknowledge, wow, were we early in the process? And then I'm sure we'll do a review of this and go, Jesus, what a shame I brought upon you know my house and my what? family. No wonder we all have chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the plane came back. So at time of recording, I, uh, the, the Room 6 YouTube channel has 174 subscribers. And I tell you what, when we hit 200, how about that? Let's do that. 200 subscribers. Well, look, you and I will sit down and look at the first one. All I really remember from it is your shocked expression when I... I said the thing about snares all sounding the same, and also <laughs> you looking at the camera going, "Hey, I make this is what I do for a living." How about I'm gonna that? look right back at that? <laughs> I'm gonna look back at that little maniacal laugh moment and go, "Good God, was that an understatement?" Because I know how serious that was. Yeah. And I, to be fair, to be fair. To be fair, you were, you were ripped on rum and coke that night. <laughs> I was I was tired as hell. Yep. I he was crashing at my place that night. Lo and behold, I used to have a drinking problem. <laughs> In that I also had a sleeping problem, had an unchecked anxiety problem, was also depressed, and had a multitude of issues. Like I said, this is a safe place. Right. And honestly, this is where I can kind of talk through you guys on where I'm at through my therapy journey. I'm very fresh in it. Everything's very tender, but it's all open. And all of it. And the Sean you were at that time is not different human. We, we would not be having this conversation. Different human. Yeah. Um, and also in a good, in the best way possible. Yeah. And also, I, I think the Joshua at that point wouldn't have had this conversation with you either, because um, I was, I was so full of just uncertainty but that's 
You but, know what? There's, we digress. There is no. I I don't digress. I oh. think this is our this is our platform, right? This is our safe place. This is That's where we right. can talk about everything. I think politically over the last four years, a lot of us have felt suppressed. Yeah, that's true. And a lot of us have felt suppressed on the behalf of other people. And it's kind of a shitty platforming kind of thing to do to say, I have a lot of black friends and they hurt over the last four years. And that makes me hurt because I fucking care about them. And And I'm so tired of them hurting. And I have a lot of LGBTQIA plus friends and and also black friends and people of color. And as two like cis white gender, you know, we're, we're, we're just plain old white bread American boys. It's, and yet it sucks and it hurts to see what certain people. But I'm here to help. I, yeah. Homegrown terrorists. Great fucking page. I'm going to promote the shit out of them. Uh, every chance I get, they're the ones that are promoting all the people that tried to storm the Capitol. You mean promote? Uh, you mean like they're they're out, trying they're to outing. they're tr- they're outing them. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Like, no, they're promote openly them. promoting that they are white fucking nationalists. Yep. They are terrorists. Oh and they are domestic terrorists. This is not like a economic. What the fuck ever? What the whatever the the kind of shitty soft language we tried to put no, on that PC. The whatever. Yeah. Not 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 necessarily no. PC. It was like demo. Like how funny like was it economic that, that gr- like how funny was just it whatever that, the that bullshit blame and fly shit afterwards i just i hearken back to the fucking carlin stuff when he was oh, like carlin would have had a field day he with started the whole he started with shell shock and he went to post traumatic stress disorder and he just went he was two syllables 11s and like there's a softening over time and you just you get numb to the softening and then you get callous to it and then you get angry about it we're back to Estelle Getty. <laughs> We're back to Estelle Getty. Picture it, Sicily, 1922. Uh, I, I think one of the best parts about Golden Girls is that B. Arthur was a goddamn Marine. And such a strong character to go with. But when she when she had the when she gave that look. Oh, you know what though? She she what? had like that pantsuit. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck. Now that I think about the fashion. She's, oh god. She's damn an it. icon for the shit. She's My mom icon. had like pantsuits with shoulder pads Dude. and the big Oh okay. She's an icon for the community for a for a reason. Yeah. But also but just the level of sass in her expression, she just love be like it. Because it's Rose, you fuck. <laughs> it's it's dripping with sarcasm, but it's such dry humor. Right. It's that eternal balance. Here's a question for you. Oh, I don't know if you know this. Hit me. The best shot. What was invented after Betty White was born? Not because she was born, but just Betty White was born before the invention sliced bread. Of sliced bread. That that means sliced bread is the best best thing since since Betty Betty White. White. Yes, I do remember that. She turned 99 this year, just like a couple week a week ago or so. You know what? I want. A Betty White day. <laughs> if I don't get one. I mean, she's also a little not so. A little bit PETA. So, what? Uh, buddy, she was in a movie called Lake Placid. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> in which she knowingly fed her husband to and, uh, radiated crocodiles or 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 alligators mm-hmm. and then but it wasn't like placid it was like black and they just called it like placid there was a whole plot hole thing you can check out Wasn't that a biography <laughs> no you can check out the dead meat podcast on lake placid mm-hmm. shout out to james a janice and chelsea a rebecca who put in so much time and so much work into podcasts for horror movies Lake Placid is a creature feature, like crocodile, oh, alligator I remember thing. The commercials, for but it. Betty White is this maniac. This little four foot something. Like, she looks so. She looks like a fucking hobbit. She's so small. She looks like Daniel looks taller than her. She's wow. so small, and she's like, hey. And she's like, at the end of the movie, she's wiggling her toes in the pond, and there are these little baby fucking crocodile things. They just come up nibbling at her toes. And you're like, those things are all going to grow to 50 feet. 
They're all, this we'll is what, it. this yep. is, no, 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 no. That's her whole plan. She fed her husband to the fucking big one. Yep. And that's why he got so goddamn big was, it wasn't a him, it was a her. And then she put out the little ones and that was the whole fucking movie. And you're like, <gasps> no, it's, a, no, it's, it was so good. And Betty White, just subtext and subtext and subtext to that character. I love her. She is a gem. Please keep her alive. Oh, for, for heaven's drinking, sake. Bro. Oh, I am not. Also, uh, getting back to Estelle Getty real quick. Wasn't she in uh, a Stallone movie like "Throw Don't Don't Shoot My Don't Shoot My Mom" or something like that? Don't throw Mama from the train. No, that was all other movie. <laughs> I know, and she deserved it. Owen, <laughs> Owen, don't give me some nuts. Oh, you can don't make, make these, a salted. Oh, you can make these references and. You don't have to fucking worry about it. By the way, if you don't know who the Golden the Girls are, are oh. you, you need to get yourself right with, it, with it. Jesus. Uh, you need to get yourself educated. Were they just released on Disney Plus or some other medium? No, I sincerely doubt they're on Disney Plus. Here. Okay. You know what? You were, I, I you were myself, here. Yes. You were here. You were home. So, real you, quick. Should we were, talk about the bottle? You were spending the night. Should we talk about the bottle in Two Brains, One Bottle? All right. Let's talk about the bottle. We are at, I'm going to give you a big clap mark here. We're, we're, I'll, I'll tell you what, no, we're closing in at a marker in one. Sorry. Why? <laughs> because I ramped up the volume so that when you break it apart, you can be like, there it is. You can also just say three, two, one. <laughs> I said one. Right. Oh, man. It feels good to be home. Feels good to be here. I'm mm. glad here that feels like home to you. That was muted. No, they're look at them. Look at the the walls, the walls, the glass, thick, thick boys. Why am I? I I've already done this. I know when it tastes like these, these are very thick glasses. Mm. Okay. Are, <laughs> I wanted these because mm. my grandfather drank his. Uh, no, these are they're nice actually. I no, actually kind John, of enjoy Johnny Walker Black. So that was it. That was for, the for you whiskey drinkers out there. What are these called again? Chipotle. So, <laughs> a chip a toodle <laughs> Chipino? What are they? <laughs> so you we have whiskey Glen Karen glasses and then we have Copitas. Copitas. Which are basically Glen Not Karen's, Chipotles. They're Glen Karen's with a stem you can hit, hold on to, which is yeah, nice. They're still they're still rose or tulip shaped glasses. They've got a bow down at the bottom. That's where the whiskey sits. And then you have the alcohol vapor sitting there. Mm -hmm. When you tilt the glass, it opens up the channel and that pushes out the alcohol vapors past the bridge of your nose. Mm -hmm. That's why you're supposed to keep your nose back and then work it way forward. And then you can accept the amount of alcohol that's coming out. If you're interested in learning more about whiskey and you're like, you know, I, I, I don't want to spend the money on a, a Glen Karen, but I would like to have a glass, you know, like Go that. Go to thrift fucking, stores. Good God. Goodwill. Yeah, thrift stores. <laughs> Goodwill is where I got, I think, oh, six Glen Karen. They're only 99 cents a piece. If that. I think I got, so the Capitas were nothing, but I've had more than four thinner stemmed Copitas for for uh, uh, cognac, cognac, and they were cheaper. But also, if you know the glass, if you know how it heats up in your hand, and if you have big hands like I do, unfortunately, it heats up your surface area very quickly. So all of that stuff you have to keep in mind when you're talking about your whiskey. Right now, we're going through Jim Beam to Skiller's Cut. It's uh, aged six to seven years. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Or five to six years. I don't remember the one to two. I think it's five to six. Aged five to six. Five to six. Hundred proof. Fifty percent. Smooth. So what I, does smooth mean to you? <laughs> I was just doing the red skeleton bit. Ask your parents, kids. Oh, uh, red skeleton. Um, incidentally, red fox. I prefer <laughs> red fox. Red fox is dirtier. Kids, it's, ask your parents if you should listen to red fox. Because oh, they'll probably geez. they'll probably tell you no. But then they'll listen Red to Red Fox. Fox. Red Fox to me is, oh. is like cartoons back in the day where you're like, they, oh. they let children watch this? Yeah. Anyway, real quick. Uh, if you haven't seen the our Valentine's Day whiskey review, um, yeah, there's more on Room 6 than just whiskey reviews, by the way. But if you haven't seen there our, are our interviews, Valentine's Day... There are interviews with local Las Vegas musicians. There's reviews of their music, reviews of live shows, reviews of venues, when that was a thing. There's review of albums. But not only that... 
Uh, also, I have my own vlogs up. Sometimes I'm just chit-chatting with the camera. And uh, maybe I even perform some music. How about that? But if you haven't seen our Valentine's Day one, we do basically a whole bunch of different gym themes. It went interesting. It, you know, it peaked early. It peaked early. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to say it sucked, but it sucked. It started yeah. real high. Anyway. Um, but yeah, since since we're drinking the Jim Beam Disco Distillers Cup, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the, the show notes uh, for that video so you can kind of see what we thought about those things. Oof. The Distillers Cut is okay. definitely a step above. All right. What you are we about to do? You tell me what you're going through. I've had this before. How do you feel? Oh, you're done. Well, since we've done we've done Jim Beam Black, we've done Jim Beam White, which is the you know basic original Jim Beam. We've done the Jim Beam Vanilla and Jim Beam Apple. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I, I say fuck you to, to Jim Beam, not to Sean, because I'm the one that brought it. Um, there. Oh. Any time a whiskey says it's. The flavor, it's like a, a vanilla liqueur infused with Jim Beam whiskey. It's not whiskey. It's going to be what you're getting. A shot you get handed at a party. What you're getting is a barely distilled spirit, which is closely monikered as a, a a vodka. You're getting a really really lightly aged vodka, something oh. enough to be called a liqueur. Mm. This is right though. That is that is th that is it. That is better than that. Look Probably. at the color. Just th I've got it. No, I've got a little water in. I know. Okay, but, but this is. Yep. If you don't know, adding a little water to uh, something that's overproofed, something that's higher than forty, something that's very oily, can open up some water soluble things that you're just not going to get unless you you know open it up with some water. And you can suddenly get some really interesting twists and things. So the distiller's cut, stick with the the bottle theme here for a second. If to me it falls in between the white and the black label, a, a little bit. I don't know how you feel about that. I am very much still a novice when it comes to whiskey stuff. Sean is, is uh, less so than I am. So, I, I'm going based off of... Cleanse the palate with some beer. There's some orange, some grapefruit, mm -hmm. apple... These noises you're hearing, pork, are pork, pork shoulder brine sweetness, brininess, heavy black pepper, and then a little vanilla on the back end. And now that you say it, I totally it, get but that. But that that water mm -hmm. that I I hit the fifty percent, and it, there was brine? too much. There's a salty. There's a yeah. salty brininess to it. No, I get it. But it, I hit it's the. There. At 50%, mm -hmm. I hit a wall, and it was just ethanol. And I just had to dilute it, and I did. And trust your eye. If you cook, if you openly cook, if you throw salt and pepper and cook season and utilize your spice rack in your kitchen, you get a feel for that kind of stuff. Incidentally, Sean used to be a cook, which is why he has a bigger vocabulary than I do for... No, you know how things smell and, and taste. It's just nose. Nose. I'll be honest. After a certain point, it just starts tasting like whiskey to me. Um, and I that's practice. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Is that a happy noise? Yeah. <laughs> so. Real quick question for our patrons. What, Barry? what is your history with whiskey? What was your first whiskey, if you remember that? Oh, hold on. 
Uh, you're you're really asking me when I'm trying to. No, I'm go asking through. them. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Sorry, it's okay. So, but also, what topics would you like us to uh, tackle? And more importantly, in the show notes is an email address. If you have any questions you would like us to answer, we will find the answer out if we if it's at all possible to find out and give you our our hot take on it. Um, I'd love to make this into kind of a, a question answer type type thing as well. Like we said, this is a, a safe space, no editing required. Ask anything you want, and as long as it's not illegal, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll tackle it and yeah. figure it out. Um, also, if you uh, are at all interested in hearing the music that we've made in the past, link will be in the description as well. So you now you're you've gone through nosing notes and, and your tasting notes now. What are you finding that's new with the water? So with the taste, it's gone to an orange tangerine ginger snap sugar cookie note with cranberry vanilla green apple and a, on the back end a really really unpleasant unrefined white flour kind of lumpy bad fruit cake didn't get mixed well enough white flour taste to it you just reminded me of oh. my 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 family likes to watch a show called the British Great British Bake Off. Yeah, I love Great British Bake Off. I, Unde- I love that show. Underproofed, overbaked. Yes, <laughs> soggy bottoms. Soggy bottoms. But not soggy bottoms, undermixed. That's clumps, shown. clumps of flour. I've never seen so much love when clumps someone goes home. Clumps of white flour. When someone gets sent home, just so much... And they're and they're playing for a freaking cake stand. You know what I hate? That's it. You know what I fucking hate? Chopped. Chopped. Those people get eliminated and like, fuck these judges. They don't know shit. Uh, I cook better than they could ever fucking I've hit. I've seen like one person do that. Oh no, I've seen a lot of them. Oh man, I have next who like to that's like going for ten thousand dollars will get you. Yeah, who like to binge that stuff? And I just was not into. After a while, it stopped being about the cooking, and it started being about the personalities. And I hate a show that starts going to personality over the the crap. What I love, just like Great British Bake Off, I love when it's chopped kids. You got to watch Repair Shop. The boss is boss. Uh, Repair Shop is on Netflix, and it's a little shop in the UK. It's it's full of horrors. There's a furniture maker there's a clocksmith okay there's a glass specialist okay all these people have these little specialties and they're all little apprentices and they all do these little special jobs and they all fix 200 500 700 year old little family heirlooms okay there's no price there's no competition there's no nothing it's just Beautiful English countryside. Something tells me that I might Not be the only one in the house that enjoys that. Beautiful English countryside. Right. Everything is done by They're hand. English. It's all hand bone glass. It's such a nice, serene. I love to watch that fucking show and just put it on and go, I'm going to work there one day. I'm going to fix all the instruments that come through. I'm going to learn that. So I want to learn all the instruments. You that's, found your calling, boy. I'm like, that's where that passion goes. It's like, I want to be, I always wanted to be a guitar luthier. I wanted to build guitars from a very young age. It right. was like that or learn how to go build drums. And I couldn't find a place to go build drums. And I found the Roberto Venn. I know it's not in fucking business anymore. I don't care. School of Guitar Luthery, Roberto Venn, R O B E R T O V E N, Roberto Venn, School of Guitar Luthery. Right. I wish it was still open. That place, you could build, you had a program where you could build an acoustic, you could build an, uh, an electric, or you could build both. Here's a question everything, all the framework, all the wood, all of it's your choice. Here's a question How hard is it? Very. To- <laughs> Anywho. How hard, Done. how difficult is it Always. to, how difficult would it be for you to get kind of set up like some beginner type situation here in your apartment to where you can start working on stuff. And maybe... If you want to, if you want to work on your own stuff, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Dunlop makes a great little, uh, kind of repair kit, mm-hmm. setup kit. It's got a neck stand. Uh, with a, a, a Hercules stand, which just Hercules, sits, Hercules. 
it sits like a cusp and the neck fits in and then the rest of the body sits on a platform like a kind of mm-hmm. like a uh, I've seen putting it on like that yeah, yeah putting it on a music stand or like a table mm-hmm. but it's also it comes with a straight edge it comes with something to measure your fret height with you can in fact, there are a couple books that I have, if you will give me a minute. I they, guess what I was leading up to was you personally. Yeah. You want to, you talk about you'd love to be a luthier. How hard would it be for you to get set up in your home, in your apartment? To build my own stuff. To start learning because, you know. With, oh, oh with YouTube, to start learning. There's, there's, that's nothing. That's what, $70 on an Amazon build your own guitar kit. That's nothing. No. But I would, I would rather invest that in like a. What I mean is. I'm starting to say, like, if you have this passion for something and you want to mess with it, there's so much information online now where you could at least get started before having to say, or I need to really get to like a mentor or master of this. You could sit there and mess with it and say, well, do I actually want to do this or am I in love with the end result? Okay. And to take that and run with that. Right. I've also worked construction. Mm -hmm. I've worked on lathes. I've worked with machinery i'm not a stranger to measuring twice and cutting once right but there is an inherent self confidence issue that comes with if i fuck it up right and and it's structural right i have to throw the whole thing away and start over at the least yeah and that's that's just fiscally irresponsible and it's it's almost like if i don't so a if I don't if I don't do it, it the right way, this is the per, and this is the perfectionist jumping in. Mm-hmm. If I don't do it the right way the first time, right, and I learn it the wrong way mm-hmm. the first time, that's now my habit, and I'm stuck in that pattern. Oh, believe me, I, you're preaching to the choir. I know, but and that's it's, that's a, it's a good thing to talk. It's for. a it's a never ending cycle. I'm look. Hopefully, it's an ending cycle, which Hopefully. is why we try but, and promote positivity, right. patrons. Uh, uh, if, if any of you, by the time this comes out, my, uh, my little music video, I made a, like a little music video for a one minute song that I did for TikTok, just for anybody that was feeling like, you know, depression or, or suicidal thoughts. It was like, Hey, you want to make a TikTok explaining that here's a sound you can use. I wrote a song called heart of bone and it pretty much is me laying bare. Like sometimes, not sometimes, every time I put myself in front of the camera, there's there's anxiety there. There's a little bit of nervousness, but you push through because you remember, oh, it feels great when you're done and you're, you're you put it out there and you're like, oh, <coughs> excuse me. People, when you get positive feedback from people, uh, <coughs> hint, hint, comment section, <laughs> when you get positive feedback, you remember, oh yeah, people actually do watch it and some of them actually enjoy it. Maybe even like it, maybe even share it. Um, getting back to like, the, the I fact- think that jumps into, don't be afraid to engage. Right. But what I'm, I'm oh, gr- what I was leading oh, up man. to was the whole oh, thing. Oh God. Oh, that's bad. What? That's a bad, dark thought to go down. Oh, fuck it. This is a safe place to say it. It's, it's simultaneously, you should be, this should be an okay place to talk to people, but also people are fucking weird and don't but, trust anybody. <laughs> it, like <laughs> as uh, much uh. like it's it. There's such a duality, and it's hard to fucking yes. work within those confines of like this is a conversation, but also no personal information. Don't show your house to anybody. Don't right. fucking video the inside of your home or the outside of your um, home. I hate Use a backdrop. We both are failing at that. <laughs> it's a window with blinds. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, but they've they've seen my kitchen. They've seen my guitar wall. Anyway, um, but what I'm what I'm they what haven't I'm walked through leading, like your floor plan. But I know that's where it's weird. Like, oh, let me show you a tour of my home. Like, ugh. say that for no. your long distance partner that you're working stuff through. Yeah, right. And that's your journey to go through on your own. Lord knows you have them. So. Your own journeys. But really quick, just to tie it, tie it up here. The Not in the thing, rope bunny situation kind of way. The luthier thing is, I, I'm i saying, if, if, you, if you have the passion and you're willing and you have the wherewithal, then you can throw some money at it. And if you mess up, you mess up and you learn. But if, it is, like you said, the perfectionist in you can take over 
and be like, no, it's not. If it's not perfect, I don't want to even start. And I get that. I get that a lot. But we're working on that, right? <laughs> he just took a big old swig of whiskey. <laughs> How's the meal, sir? <laughs> Trying to work on it every day. Yep. Always trying to work on it. Yep. But but the key word isn't trying. The key word is always. Yeah. It's, always. It's just like the, the real mark of a champion is not how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get back up. You, oh man. I, you know what? Fuck it. No, I warned you. I warned you people. I told you people you were getting into this when you got here. You were the I'm chosen sorry. one. I'm sorry you're getting a second wind, but God damn it. We're ready. We're here. We're awake and we are alive. It's like reinventing yourself through another moniker, through another personality, through another identity, just like a pro wrestler does. Just like the great Chris Jericho, the Lionheart, the Coeur de Leon. From New Japan, from, from Ring of Honor, like from, from, oh, all the way to Y2J, to Raw is Jericho! I like him better as a wrestler than a musician. Oh, I know. Yeah, I said it. You don't like him in doing Fozzie? <laughs> you know, oh man. There's an image I don't need That's in my head, such thank a, you. <laughs> it's such a good, it's... Chris Jericho doing the, Fozzie. <laughs> the, the Judas... He does the Judas effect elbow. It's like a finishing move now for him. Or now I want to see the Muppets wrestling. Thank you very much. You You know what that makes me think of? Celebrity death match. You people oh, haven't watched no. that in a long, Man, long time. I miss Celebrity Death Match. Cheers to Celebrity Death Match with Nick. Offerman. No, I'm just kidding. Nick and something Diamond. Nick Diamond? No. Nick Diamond and I, I can't remember. Johnny... Nick Diamond and Johnny. Oh, I, fuck you. I am so close. I've got three quarters of the way there. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. All of our, all our phones are being used. Um, Spin the yarn. I don't know. I'm going to make my first run away. I've not, I've not walked away from the Yikes microphone. in a way. Yeah. Okay. Nick Diamond and well, Johnny. Well, actually, I think this might be a good place to... to oh, no, no. He's going to figure it out. Nick Diamond and Johnny. You have a computer right there, you know? Yeah, I've got an iPad. I've been so, there. now that it's just the, now that it's just the two of us... Dear listener, if you're still listening, thank you very much. Um, I really meant what I said, though. Every single video, every single thing that I put out, it's, there's a process. And the process starts with, I have an idea. And then it becomes, nobody's going to like that. And then it becomes, it's, it doesn't matter. Put it out anyway. People have liked other stuff. I, I was three quarters of the way there. I had. Uh oh, he's I back. Had it. He's I back. Had it. Run. I was right. But you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. you fuck yourself. <laughs> I was right. I hate you. Anyway. I hate you. That guy sucked. I'm glad he fucking burned. Oh, he's coming Chris. back. Nick Diamond. Nick Diamond and Johnny. Johnny. Right. No, Johnny. I don't remember his last name. I had it. What was it? Gomez. Okay, I believe you. Nick Diamond and Johnny Gomez. Yeah. Yeah. Nick Diamond and. And CJ, the ref. Referee Mills Lane. Where'd I get CJ from? Let's get it out! Yeah, where'd I get CJ from? No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Totally Mills Lane. <laughs> Referee Mills Lane. I allow it! <laughs> I allow it! Oh, Christ, that's gonna work its way into whiskey reviews like in, in the future. I can see I allow it! I will allow it! Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna pull it up. You know what? This is for the Patreon. You know, Patreon, you pay money. Well, 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 you, well we don't no, want no, any no. copyright issues, though. Don't, don't be playing. Everything. No, it has to be over seven seconds long, and it's. Uh, is, it, yeah. is that the seven seconds? Yeah. I thought it was 30 seconds. Oh crap. No, seven. Uh Suta Lords. Anytime I do anything like that, it's always like three seconds, five seconds at the most. I wish I had a dude, you put me on a soundboard. Like I've got these things at my fingertips. I am I am a producer for of hell. Uh myinstance.com. Instance I N S T A N T S. Um and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff God in there. I can't, I can't. 
I, I can't. Are you having trouble with your Fuck you, YouTube. There, Grandpa? Fuck you, YouTube. You suck, YouTube. You're a piece of shit. Something vexes thee, my lord? I hate technology. I fucking hate it. I'm such I, I'm such an old millennial. My my ripe old age of thirty. I hate to tell you this. I'm gonna die, not knowing a lot of things. Uh, take a number, pal. I'm gonna I'm gonna well, I'm gonna die to having read a lot of books. <laughs> a lot of books. You're gonna learn a lot of things. You just won't know a lot of things. Oh, Mills Lazen. Let's get it out! Yep. Alright. Oh, man. It's been a good night. Where are we at with the timer? Yeah, it's... Oh, dude, we've not cracked... We've not cracked an hour. But is it for a podcast? We gotta do an hour. There might be a little bit. We got 13. We got 13. Okay, fine. I mean, we got... We really don't. We don't, we don't have 13. We're going to... Vamp, vamp. And we got 12. <laughs> okay. We, all right. Well, now now that we're on the cons constraints of uh, being oh, fucked now. What? See, now I look at 12 and I'm like, fuck, that means we got 11. That means we got 10. We're, we're in 10 minutes. You did it to yourself. Oh, shit. All right. Hey, anxiety brain. <laughs> God damn it, Cartman. Oh, man. We should do. Uh, what are you? So what are you trying to look up? What are you trying to do? You trying to get the sound of him doing that? I, I was. I'm telling you, I told you where to go. Thank you. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how to work an iPad, and you can fucking tell it. I'm so shit at working modern technology. Well, your first problem is it's a freaking iPad because Apple products suck balls. Thank you. You can yell at me in the in the uh, comments. Go ahead. You do that in Patreon. They have comments in Patreon? I don't know. I've never done one of these on Patreon. You're putting this up on Patreon, right? We're not cutting this. We're not editing this. Nope. Fuck. I, what is that? I don't want that. What did you do? What did you do? I didn't like Mill, that at all. Mills Lane? Yeah, Mills Lane. Referee Mills Lane. M-I-L-L-S-L-A-N-E. God damn it, stupid fucking eight grade spelling bee fucking Sean. Wow, that went somewhere. Not sure where, but that went somewhere. I'm still angry that I spelled the word government wrong. You think that's bad? Because some Fifth grade stupid fucking bee? cunt, and I don't mean a woman. Whoa! I don't mean a woman. Some fucking cunt. I'm not. It's not here. Going to say their gender. I'm going to just call them a cunt. Okay. It's an attitude thing. It's like when Louis C.K. called so somebody a fag. So finish the sentence. What, 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 but what happened? They go, spell government. They went, I'm sorry. Can you clarify? Government. To be clear, okay. do, you, do you mean government? Government. Is this, is this a homonym? This is a homonym. And that was the first ever moment. Oh, I got it. That's it. Out. That's my trigger. All right. It's spelling. I, I heard a word and I went, oh, you should go with government and not government. Like, you know what government is. It's with an N and it makes sense and it's logical. And I went, no, they said government. So I tried to appease them. Oh, that's a trigger point. Oh, wow. What a, what a, what a realization. You know what? We are 51 minutes in. You just had an aha moment. I hope you enjoy that. What is this? Mills Lane. Celebrity deathmatch. Or you can get the real Mills Lane cursing at a reporter. You just show me YouTube. Yes, you want to hear him. Weren't you trying to play the I'll allow it bit? Yeah. Well, that's what I got when I typed in, Mil you know, Mills Lane. All that's that. exactly what I typed in. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Sorry, eh? you want you want jelly? <laughs> you took three minutes of time <laughs> to get me to the same place we were already at. Cause I'm uh, a man. <laughs>
Oh, I got, I got one for you. You know the court right male m- motto? <laughs> do I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you the, the court right male motto is "Do it the hard way." <laughs> no, it's not. It is. Is it really? No, it's not. I don't like it. Um, actually, my family crest. I, for some reason, my family has two family crests. Like you, you go to one of those little what's our coat of arms kind of thing. We have two, and they have the same elements, just slightly different. But the the family motto happens to be the same. Ever faithful. Ever faithful what? Ever faithful. <laughs> and I thought that was almost the glory almost every male courtright member that I can think of. No, I'm sorry. Almost every courtright member that I can think of, male and female, has gotten divorced at least once, myself included. Ever faithful. Now, I did not get divorced because I cheated. I got divorced because, well, things went things went weird. My parents when all they is. <laughs> Wait, what? When all they is? When all they years. Okay. <laughs> when all they is. There you go. When all they years. Without a divorce. So, and that's what I'm trying to see. That's the that's the ideal. And if I I'm I'm not I'm not open to one. Mine went 37 years and then got to yeah. Talk about a surprise. I was in college. Came home for Christmas. My mom doesn't celebrate Christmas anymore. That was that was when my dad died. He wouldn't well, have cheated, was, though, because he didn't have the strength and the legs to walk. Well, like, no, he this, couldn't this have fucked years anything. ago. This was years ago when it happened. No, I know. I'm oh. just saying, like, you know, he yeah. made it 37 years of marriage. And he, you know, he, oh. he couldn't have dicked down anybody because he was so cancer ridden. So, so I never had to worry about the possibility of him cheating on my mom because he yeah. just had no thrusts left. If he did, he would have broken his all of it. Well, it's like all of it: the knee, the patella, the my, fucking with, femur. With all the, my running around for you know various things like Rube, YouTube and work and stuff and music, my wife once I, I told her, "You don't have to worry about me cheating on you." Because I'm tired. I don't have the energy, man. Right? Like it all hurts. It all hurts. If you, you want a good workout, be a musician. If you want a good workout, do DDP yoga. DDP would be Diamond Dallas, Dallas Page. Diamond. Diamond Dallas Page. Dallas Page. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I saw your, your chart, your yoga. I chart made it there. through. I made it through. You said DDP and it didn't click until I went in there and saw that. I was like, oh, that's what he meant by DDP. So. Uh, not going off the date on the recording because I don't remember what date we said, but I just finished week four and this is the farthest I've made it in a program, but I skipped the beginner program. I've done the beginner program to week like three, four or five times now. Hey man. And, I just, got, and I just got tired of it. Good and job. I, just, I jumped to the intermediate one. Yep. I'm now through week four. I'm into week five and couldn't feel better about everything. Well, you got to get up. You got to move. You know, the being stationary is the worst fucking feeling. You it's, know, the most important day of working out. Pi day. Tomorrow. Oh, I like that. You're welcome. That one's free. Oh, that one's not included with the price. That one's good. Oh, do you know the most important day of working out tomorrow? You know, that's another thing is I, I've been, sorry to cut you off, but I've been, shut up phone. I've been pretty good about, um, hey, hey, hey. You don't have anything playing right now. You shut your face. You're you're not as good as Google Bixby. Stop it. Stop. Anyway, I have a new phone and I'm not, not happy with it, but anyway, uh, I've managed to oh, that's staying in. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I've been working out pretty faithfully for a few months at least. Like I I don't remember I don't remember when I started again. But just because you quit doesn't mean you give up. It just means you need to figure out something else that you like doing. If you like doing it, keep doing it and you'll see a change. If you like doing it, 
Well, I don't want that sound bite isolated. <laughs> I don't want to jump into that because I do was going to do it. Do it. <laughs> it. I was going to say, if you like doing it, do it more. Do it. But do it. if do it, it you're satisfied, if it, no one. If it makes you feel good, it benefits you in a positive way, and it doesn't hurt anybody else. Do more of it. We. It's moving you in a positive direction. Okay. If it's creation, feed it. If it's something that, that nourishes a good part of you, something that, that benefits humanity, good. Follow that. We Follow that first if you have no direction. We can't do it. We can do it. <laughs> Follow just the benefit of other people. I thought I did that. Oh, maybe I'll. All right, it's it's almost oh, time for us to wrap there. up this what inaugural uh, podcast. I'll tell you what, I'll say we have a drink. Yeah, I, I definitely. We're going to close out. We're going to close out. We are so, at. We are closing in on two minutes. We are going to do one last drink. This is again distillers. I will. Yeah, we will make no promises that future episodes will be more structured than this. Oh man, you know what? We'll come into it with notes instead of leaving it with notes. But you know what? More importantly, if you want us to talk about a thing, you have to tell us. And if, you, if there's no way to do it down here, guess what? You go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash room six, and you can throw a comment on a, you know, a video. Um, Sean, thank you for joining me on this. You've been listening to Two Brains, One Bottle. Well, we're still working on the tagline. I like two brains, one bottle. Yeah, two brains, one bottle. Try not to it's better than It's better than two brains, one beam. I mean, that sounds like it's always going to be under construction. Maybe that's the title it should be. I don't like splinters. Anyway. I don't like splinters either. But two I, brains also, one... <laughs> I also really don't like walking around in fucking tall boots. Like, I, what? Oh. Like, tall work boots? I hate them. I worked on construction sites for a long time. I had big, thick, fucking sole boots. Because they have have big ankles, like it's all about protection, keeping so, your foot straight. Uh, that's what jo that's what Joe needs. Joe, Joe versus the volcano. I'm losing my uh, soul. Oh, he lost his back soul around, baby. Look at you. Look yeah. at you. And right. this is how you close out the episode. Yes. Thank you for watching. Or wow. Thank you for listening. And um, please tell your friends. And uh, we'll see you next time on Two Brains One Bottle. And hopefully we'll see you over in room six. I got a special one for you. Oh no. You gotta pick. I gotta pick? You gotta pick. The less painful one. Green monkeys, silver snakes, purple parrots, blue barracudas, red jaguars. Fuck you and your shirt. <laughs> purple parrots. Yellow monkeys? Purple parrots. Green monkey. No, it's green monkeys. Green monkeys, parrot. Monkeys, parrots, snakes. It's obviously yellow. Orange orang. Orange. So. Fuck. Orange orangutans make, or something. Make like your that. toast, man. Pick, pick your team. Purple team. parrots. Purple parrots. Yeah. It's my sister's favorite team. Okay. It's my brother-in-law's favorite team. Well, there you go. You know who no one ever picks? Blue fucking barracudas. Hashtag blue barracudas. Oh my god. It sounds like anchors. Anchors away. Anchors away.